Imagine a world without screws. No furniture holding your home together, no machines keeping life running smoothly, and no spacecraft exploring the stars. It's hard to believe, but this everyday object has a history stretching back over 2,000 years. So where did it all begin? The answer lies in a surprisingly simple invention that changed everything. Around 250 BCE, a Greek mathematician named Archimedes created a tool that worked a lot like a screw. Known as the Archimedean screw, it was designed to lift water, a big deal for farming in places like Egypt. Picture a hollow wooden tube with a spiral inside. By turning it, farmers could pool water from rivers to water their fields. It was simple but effective, helping farmers grow crops in otherwise dry areas. Who would have thought a spiral in a tube could mean the difference between feast and famine? This was one of the earliest examples of how a simple invention could completely transform a way of life. It was an elegant solution to a problem that had existed for centuries, changing everything about agriculture in these regions. But this water-lifting invention was just the start. How did it eventually become the screws that hold our world together today? Long before the Archimedean screw, the Babylonians and Egyptians used basic ideas about force and motion. They used simple machines like ramps and pulleys to lift heavy things and manage irrigation. While they didn't use screws as we know them, these early tools laid the foundation for later inventions. The idea that twisting motion could make hard work easier was key and would eventually lead to something much more impactful. These early experiments were the stepping stones to what would become one of the most useful tools in history. But how did this idea evolve into the first true screw? The Romans took these ideas and improved them. They used screws and presses, which changed industries like wine and olive oil production. Pressing olives by hand for oil would take forever, but with a screw press, the work became much faster. Imagine a Roman farmer saying, my hands are saved, and so is my sanity. What used to take hours could now be done in minutes, allowing Roman farmers to produce goods on a larger scale. These innovations were about more than just convenience. They were crucial for survival and growth. The screw press didn't only transform agriculture, it also laid the groundwork for mechanical tools that would dominate future industries. Screws helped solve important problems and allowed the Roman Empire to expand its economy and trade. This wasn't just a breakthrough for agriculture, it was a turning point for the story of screws. The ability to produce large quantities of oil and wine transformed not just commerce, but also the culture of the Roman Empire, as these products were essential for food, medicine, and religious rituals. But how did this basic principle take screws from Roman farms to Renaissance workshops and beyond? The Romans didn't stop there. They used screws in shipbuilding, aqueducts, and even medicine. Picture a Roman shipbuilder using screws to hold planks together, making sure the ship could handle long trips across the Mediterranean. Imagine if shipbuilders today had to rely on nails or weaker adhesives. Screws truly became the backbone of sturdy construction, whether in ancient Rome or modern times. These strong ships were key to transporting goods and expanding the empire. In medicine, Roman surgeons used screw-like tools to set broken bones, showing how screws could provide precise pressure and stability, even back then. These early applications would eventually shape the screws we know today, the use of screws in multiple areas of Roman life, from commerce to military to health, shows just how versatile and indispensable this tool was becoming. But despite these successes, screws were painstakingly crafted by hand, making them rare and expensive. Skilled craftsmen had to carefully carve each thread, making production slow and costly. What invention would finally give screws their modern form? The Renaissance was a time of great innovation, and screws were no different. One of the biggest changes was how screws evolved from just a tool to a fastener. The Archimedean screw moved water, but the screws used in Roman presses showed how they could hold things together. This was a major turning point. During the Renaissance, engineers like Leonardo da Vinci created tools to make screws with more precision. Leonardo invented a screw-cutting lathe, a machine that could make screws with smooth, even threads. It was as if da Vinci thought, if I have to make another screw by hand, I'm gonna invent something to make my life easier. This lathe made screws more precise and saved craftsmen from the frustration of making each screw by hand. Suddenly, screws could be used in much more precise ways, enabling the creation of clocks, scientific instruments, and more. 
The improved precision was instrumental in sparking the scientific revolution, allowing scientists to build devices that could measure, observe, and experiment with a level of detail that had never been possible before. This era saw the screw become a true instrument of progress, playing a key role in the birth of modern science. Its precision allowed inventors to experiment with groundbreaking machinery, paving the way for new technologies in astronomy and physics. Today we see the echoes of this precision in everything from kitchen blenders to electric screwdrivers, modern household tools that owe their convenience to Renaissance innovation. But even with da Vinci's genius, screws were still reserved for specialized tasks. They were used in fine machinery and delicate instruments, but they weren't yet part of everyday life. What would finally make screws a part of daily use for everyone? The Industrial Revolution changed everything. Machines were invented that could mass-produce screws quickly and cheaply. This not only standardized screws, but also made them much cheaper, allowing builders and craftsmen to use them easily. Before this, screws were like snowflakes. No two were the same. If you needed a screw, it had to be custom-made. Standardized screws made construction faster and easier, getting rid of the frustration of mismatched parts. As industrialization spread globally, screws became a cornerstone of progress. In the United States, screw-making innovations helped fuel rapid factory expansion. Meanwhile, in Britain, standardized screws revolutionized shipbuilding, making global trade more reliable than ever before. As mass production spread, screws became a key part of how we built things. And hey, just like screws made life easier, why not make supporting great content easy too? Hit that subscribe button, it's a small action that can make a big difference. The ability to mass produce screws meant that they could be used in everything, from buildings and infrastructure to household items and toys. The reliability of screws also made them essential in mass production, providing stability and consistency to countless manufacturing processes. The humble screw became a vital part of the modern world, holding together the very fabric of everyday life. As screws became common, their materials and designs changed too. Engineers made stainless steel and titanium screws that could handle tough conditions and wouldn't rust. These new materials allowed screws to be used in underwater construction and even space exploration. Imagine screws holding together deep-sea submersibles or rockets enduring extreme conditions of space travel. These advancements allowed screws to be used in some of the most challenging environments imaginable. Today, screws continue to evolve from the tiny screws that hold smartphones together to massive fasteners and wind turbines, these tools remain at the forefront of innovation. In renewable energy, specially designed screws ensure the stability of wind and solar installations, proving that even the smallest details can shape our future. It's amazing to think that Archimedes' old ideas now help rockets stay together during liftoff. These are screws with superpowers. It's just wild to think that something first used to lift water is now holding together some of the most complex machines we've ever built. And as technology continues to progress, screws adapt, becoming stronger, lighter, and more specialized for the tasks at hand. The evolution of screws shows human ingenuity, always finding new ways to improve and adapt something simple yet essential. So, where did screws come from? Each step in their journey, Archimedes' water-lifting tool, Roman presses, da Vinci's screw-cutting lathe, and the Industrial Revolution was a piece of the puzzle. Together, these breakthroughs turned screws from ancient tools into the fasteners that hold our modern world together. Next time you tighten a screw, think about the centuries of innovation that made it possible. And who knows, maybe your next IKEA assembly will feel a bit more meaningful, or at least a little less frustrating. What surprised you most about the history of screws? Or is there another everyday object that you're curious about? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you're still curious, this next video on the screen might just have the answers you're looking for.